Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at uh, gathering gear in Albion Online. Basically what is it, how does it work, all that sort of stuff. So I'm currently running with the Skinner's gathering gear as well as a Clarent Blade and a Torch just to do a fair amount of damage quite quickly and some AoE. What does gathering gear do? So apart from the fact that it gives you just a base amount of stats equal roughly to a leather set of gear it doesn't give you too much it doesn't give you little uh i'm just going over the stats that it gives it does give a, an extreme amount of tankiness in fairness it also gives certain skills that you can't find or potentially that are on other abilities uh, other armor types uh, so obviously you've got block and cleanse here you've also got this bear trap which is a really big slow damage over second and redu uh, resistance reduction uh, you've got mend wounds which is on pretty much every I think it is on every chest piece uh, ambush for a bit more damage frost shield for tankiness and then you've got hide animal at uh, hide animal poison which just allows you to do a lot more damage to animals uh, and then you've got again I think this is an amazing ability increases move speed by 70% and your max load by 200% for 10 seconds after activation you can't cast spells for 15 seconds but for that duration no mobs will attack you it's also a threat reset which means you could pop this and all mobs that attack and you will just ignore you there and walk off uh, you've then got the backpack which has reduces the weight of adept hide which is the tier 4 hide or lower by 50% so this basically means that you're just not going to have max weight for an absolute... That you're going to have like full bags, more so than max weight. Uh, I've been farming, so about 5 o'clock I started farming. I've farmed 400 thin hide, 86 medium and 2 heavy. I'm not really farming for heavy hide because I can't use it at the moment. The buff that you get by doing these increases your gatherer's yield for a depth hide or lower. Now... What is gatherer's yield? So you might have noticed if you have premium, there's a chance per gather that you will double what you get. You'll get a second lot of the same amount. So uh, let's find another mob and see if we can actually get that to proc so I can show you. Effectively, what it does is it gives you a separate proc for of 10% if you've had it on for a couple of minutes you can't just equip this for mobs you have to have this actually on for a couple of minutes to get the full effect and it gives you 10 percent if you have all three of these at 10. Uh, a 10 percent chance basically to gather whatever you've managed to gather on your first time so obviously three per tick again so from one mob you can potentially pull i believe it's up to 20 yeah it's up to 27. There we go, so on that one we got three thin hide from the mob, three from the gatherer's bonus, which is the 10% chance to proc, and three for the uh, premium bonus, which I believe is a 50% chance to proc, so obviously it's a lot higher chance to proc. But when you're running, even if you're just running the backpack for the less weight, it's still a very good item. But you could run the whole set and just get extra procs. Obviously, as soon as you start farming the tier 4 higher stuff, because there are tier 5 and 6 sets of this. As soon as you start farming that and you're doing things like 4.1, 4.2 leather. It becomes exponentially better. Because if you get a proc on like a... So I had one earlier where I farmed a 4.3 node. Uh, 4.3 animal, sorry. And I got 9 out of my first tech. It was just... It was obviously really efficient, really nice. And that... That's basically what this set does. It just increases your efficiency by allowing you to get more from one mob. Now, you can get these for each set. So, miners, uh, cotton, lumber, jack, all of these have their own sets. They cost me... So, I didn't actually craft mine. I bought mine, and it cost me about 12k to build a full set. But I can't fault it. It's such an efficient set. Uh, so as you can see here, we're actually going to use some of the abilities. I'm using my R and the W uh, and the D. The D just traps one of the mobs uh, and causes it to take a lot of damage. The R just does a lot of damage. And when things go bad, we press F and they've gone back to doing whatever they were doing. And that that's it. It's 
each set has something that's like a disengage, uh, a speed increase. Just each set has different ways to deal with different things appropriate to the set. So lumberjacks can throw wood behind them that knocks everything back like 23 meters or something. It's just a ridiculous number. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video on the gatherer sets just to show people what they are. Uh, they're really efficient sets and like I said, one tick on a mob. If you got lucky and got the three that you're guaranteed, the three from the premium, which is a 50%, and then the three from the craft, you can potentially be getting a lot. So we got nine from that one so far, and now we've got another six, and then we got three. So from that one, we got 18 from one mob. Like, that's an extreme amount. Uh, obviously, you can have up to 27, which is just crazy. But yeah, so I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I've got more videos coming out soon with informative, instructive, all that sort of things. Basically, if there's anything you aren't sure of and want to know about, please let me know and I'll do my best to try and show it off. Uh, like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. Check out Gusky Twitch. Uh, I'm currently in the process of applying for my Twitch partnership. So if you could head on over there, check out the stream, even if it's just for an hour, I'd be so appreciative. Um, yeah, but yeah. Other than that, have a nice day, guys. Catch you later.